Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo for the month of May. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, then simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. Okay, so let's begin. Hmm. Okay, so there is this Ace of Cups. This is this is what I'm seeing. Okay, there is this Ace of Cups, but it's hidden by this card. Okay, so there's this relationship that's uh, very fiery, very passionate. You see the lightning strikes here, and it seems like. It's in a, oof, a very uh, dark place at the moment. It could be very challenging. It feels to someone like the ship is sinking, but it only feels like this because of memories. But this is actually what's coming that you can't see beyond that gray wall of water. <laughs> All right. This scene here is going to transform with the death card on top and another ace right after. You will have a new opportunity to reignite this flame. And, okay. <laughs> All right, let me tell you. Um, something uh, she said to him, because I have two very fiery people here. I have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And so you were a couple and you're taking on this energy. Now, uh, she said something because she's got this really fiery temper. So she may have got upset, may have said something that uh, made this person um, become upset and uh, turn in the reverse. Well, upset. He would be very angry in the reverse. But, uh, and you see it going on here. She... She, I feel, was this person, this little person here, on the attack verbally towards him, right? Who's like, what are you talking about? What's going on? It seems like there was some type of misunderstanding. And I, I feel like it could be a rather common occurrence between these two people because both of them are very fiery and hot-tempered. Yeah. But, I mean, the relationship just sparks. <laughs> but the tempers, well, they need to be worked on. Um, still, uh, four of wisdom, six of love, four of wands. So, at the root, I feel like uh, she may have discovered uh, where something came from. Um she's looking back to the past and um, she wants this person back with the four of wisdom i think that she still seems to have hope or there's a message of hope that does arrive and it can arrive in in many different ways it could be directly it could be indirectly all right Somebody could have been blind to something when it came, when it, you know, came to uh, this connection. And this caused a time apart. And, um, but we see this is somebody who's in preparation. Um, they could be in preparation to face a fear. Yeah or face fears um, that kept them 
uh, in that energy of the Eight of Swords. I feel like somebody is preparing for a conversation, frankly. I feel like there's a... Um, <laughs> it's because he... He's known as the negotiator. So I'm not, I, I, not going to say it's a negotiation because it's not really a negotiation. But there is a reunion uh, here uh, for these two people. Somebody is seeking the others. Maybe somebody, she, she may have said something she didn't mean, which got this person really upset. And, you know, they took the exit or made their exit but you know it's like something these two people can spark uh just like that uh, but they also cool down quickly and this person doesn't like to lose so he's definitely coming back for his queen and here we have somebody indeed coming back to seek someone's uh, forgiveness, um, understanding. Um, they bring in the Ace of Cups. So they, um, they want to reconcile. Um, I feel that whatever they tell you makes you really, really happy. So we have the reunion taking place here. Um, I feel that in the in the short time you've been apart, this person has been watching you. I don't think you've been apart all that long because I don't think that person uh, could be that long without you. You know, it, it it just feels that way. Yeah, taking control restoring the order getting things back on track they may have been uh waiting for an appropriate uh, like a moment to approach you because they were in the hangman mode about this decision for the future to build memories it is their wish filling their cup with wishes um, seeking direction, seeking understanding. This will have been accomplished here and they come forward. And they come forward quite unexpectedly. They have something to get off their chest. It is something you are completely unaware of. So they are, uh, again, we get that negotiating um energy yeah they're coming in to get something off their their chest and they're going to talk about change there's something uh, here that they recognize needs to be changed okay and um they're quite willing if if this is on their part for sure they are quite willing um they're quite willing to make these changes uh to have this reconciliation and they are um they're going to approach you with whatever it is they 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 wish to get off their chest whatever they wish to talk to you about and they are very hopeful of uh good results they're very hopeful of this commitment they recognize this uh deep connection between the two of you if you were not married to this person before, an offer of marriage can come up at this time or moving in together. If you were, uh, if you were just dating and not yet living together, this is, uh, they're going to talk about deepening the relationship, taking it to the next level. Okay. But there's something here, um, that you do not no, they will be bringing up. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. 
Many blessings to all of you.